Hello, everyone. My name is Andrew Gothard, and I'm running for UFF president in this year's union election. I'd like to start out by explaining some of the key lessons I've learned during my time at UFF. And those are that I have learned the irreplaceable value of teamwork, the immeasurable importance of hearing the wisdom of those who have come before, and the undeniable power of real solidarity, not based merely in setting goals, but through values-based connections built person to person, member to member, leader to leader. And bottom line, my, my most important leadership value is this, that leadership is service. As UFF president, I will work for and listen to you, the members and leaders of this union. I will be present, accessible, and responsive. I will adopt a system of radical transparency and democracy in all leadership decisions. And I will do all this because I recognize that true power resides with the members. And that in order to grow, UFF needs to adopt a grassroots, um, gra grassroots system of member and leader engagement that focuses on person to person, ground level organizing in our chapters, because that kind of organizing is our future. Through all of this, I, instead of being in charge, I want to lead. And I believe that my experience at UFF FAU, my home chapter, has prepared me for this kind of leadership. Since my time beginning with UFF FAU in 2017, I was a, I've been a key participant in getting our membership density up to 50% for the first time in our chapter's history. And I've helped to rebuild the steward structure and reinvigor reinvigorate our overall leadership uh, system so that we have more voices and more individuals cooperating and participating in leadership today. I've been a key participant in uh, negotiating an MOU that has protected faculty rights and benefits during this pandemic. I have co-chaired our bargaining team as we prepare to open full book negotiations here within the next month. And I'm currently co-chairing co our government relations committee where we have consistently built values-based person-to-person connections with five separate state senators and a representative, all as a way of building grass level influence that is today influencing the votes that legislators are making during the Florida legislative session. At the state level, I have served as the statewide membership committee chair where I have worked with an incredible team to create best practices, materials, trainings, and resources for membership committee chairs so that we can increase membership recruitment and organizing at all of our local chapters. And on the steering committee, I have consistently listened to and supported the voices of our leaders and members across the state. Most recently in response to the concerns expressed to me from the September Senate meeting, after which I successfully petitioned our elected leaders to create a steering subcommittee for tr greater transparency, accountability, and sustainability systems for a full release time UFF president, which we recently voted on at the February Senate meeting. All of this experience and these values have come together to create the goals that I would like to see UFF achieve during my time in office. I would like to bring grassroots level organizing systems to every element of our state committees, beginning with the government relations committee. We've started this work now and I want to see it come to fruition where we have active government relations chapters or, or government relations committees in every chapter around the state. And we are actively using the constituents to voice concerns and to support higher education policy with their legislators because that's where true power is. You know, our state level leaders calling legislators can only get us so far. We have to build this power from the ground up. In addition, I want to establish a communications committee and a legislative writing committee so that we can respond in more agile and quick ways and more collective ways to threats from Tallahassee. And in addition, I would like to see us write our own legislation where we are writing amendments to these zombie bills that come up every year. And we are writing good pro higher education legislation that we are passing on to our friendly senators who are bringing it up in committees and for vote in the Florida votes in the Florida legislature, because that's how real change is made. I want to work with our diversity committee to produce concrete, goal-oriented, trackable plans for increasing our diversity, not just in our membership, but in our leadership as well, so that we're not just embracing di diversity as an ideology, but as a practical, concrete way of living within this union. And working with the uh, staff, I would like to grow our union by two separate chapters before 2023. Overall, a vote for me is a vote for us, and I hope I have your vote in this election. Thank you.